Hey, what's up guys, RJ here. In this video, we're gonna take a quick look at some of the things I've been up to lately. They're all about 3D printing and drones, specifically the XDAR Premium by Altel. So I've been designing two things as of late. First, which I've kind of put on the back burner, is a box of prototypes and screwed up soldiers. Uh, the first thing is a set of reflectors for the RC uh, in an attempt to get the, the shape and to focus the signal farther down range. So I, I do have a set complete. I just haven't had a chance to really give it uh, good testing. The other thing which I've spent the majority of my design time on are these landing skid extenders. Basically they just lift the drone up slightly, about an inch, inch and a quarter, just high enough so when you're taking off in a grassy area the gimbal doesn't, uh, the camera doesn't hit the grass. Along with that I've been trying to uh, kind of somewhat make them modular, dual purpose. You could um, theoretically mount a gimbal guard in between the two rails or a uh, GPS tracker on the rail. I'm still working out some stuff with these. Um, predominantly, I, I, I'm, I'm looking for a material that is strong enough to continue to use this rail system, but light enough that it well it won't weigh the drone down. Because uh, this is ABS, and in my testing, if I'm doing uh, edge testing with pressure, I can fairly easily rip one of these rails off. Much more difficult when utilizing it from the center. They don't, they don't pull apart as easy, but still, I'd like to get them uh, much, much stronger if possible. So in this video, I'm going to focus on these extenders in how to put them on the drone and just some of the things that I've had to do um, in order to build them up. So without further ado, let's go and take a look at how to install these and just a kind of overview of their uh, evolution. Okay, let's get to it. Hey guys, so I wanna spend a little bit of time talking about these skids and uh, here we have one of the many prototype revisions and this is just a printed blank uh, so you'll see the holes right here and what I do is I take these brass knurls and I take a soldering iron and I melt them into the plastic and then do a little twist once I've uh, recessed them in where I want them and this gives that um, front latch an incredible amount of strength and as we'll see when we uh, go to put these on it definitely needs it on the back I just have the holes that I drive now in this revision there's only two but in the latest revision there is four and I just drive four screws, machine screws, into the plastic. And uh, my testing has shown that at this point, uh, as I mentioned before, this plastic is, is going to break well, well before these screws pull out of the plastic. So again, I'm, I'm still looking for a better material for these rails than ABS. We'll see. So um, basically, once I've installed the rail, I take and, and of course the um, brass inserts, I take one of the latches, put a washer in there with an M3 screw. I take a little bit of Loctite, just the, uh, the medium strength, and uh, dab the screw with it. And what this does is it allows the, the latch to spin freely without causing the 
screw to spin. And it takes a little while to set up. And then just do that all around. So basically what I do is uh, I tighten them down to where they feel like they're uh, tensioned pretty good but not too hard that they're difficult to swing uh, open and closed. So basically that's uh, the completed extender. So what we'll do now is I'll go ahead and bring the drone over and show you how, they in how they're installed. Hopefully you'll be able to see this well enough. So basically to install one of these, just open up the latches. And you'll notice that they're, they're ambidextrous, so they'll, they'll, this side will fit on that side. Um, you take them and you put, put them in like a pretty hard angle. So the feet get re recessed inside of here. I know it's very difficult to see with the color black, but um, and then you just turn them up and that locks the it in place somewhat and then you just spin the latches down and that locks them in really well. So let me quick do the other side and uh, see how this looks standing up. So let me go ahead and change the camera angle to the front here and uh, hopefully we can take a look at it up from the front because there's there's something I want to uh, make note of. I'll be right back. Okay welcome back. This is the thing I want to show you and the problem I've kind of been dealing with is when this is on like you know the ground grass or in this case you know this little fire mat it's pretty strong pretty stable but on flat smooth surfaces this is what happens when you just apply a little pressure the whole thing kind of bends out and what happens is if you can see they start to fracture right here and then once that once the uh, landing skid fractures typically the rail will fracture so now these are printed at 10 percent infill which is kind of light for what these things are doing so um, but as I go up in infill of course the weight increases I would prefer to find a material that is stronger and lighter that can handle the stresses. Now I've tried to put feet on the landing, skid feet, little rubber feet, um, but I just can't find any at this point that stay put. They, uh, they have a tendency to come off. So yeah, that's uh, what I've been dealing with with this. So yeah guys, so that's what I've been up to. Um, among other things, I've been studying for the Part 107 exam. That's going well. I've also um, been working on a few future items that uh, I hope you guys like. All right, so until next time, take care, guys.